Good evening, everyone. My name is Angela Seth, and I'm currently in the last semester of BTEC Biotechnology that I'm pursuing from Amity University, Noida. The project title is Combining Genomic Data Analysis to Study Cancer Using Machine Learning Techniques. Genomic data analysis and machine learning is widely used in the field of study and research. More specifically, they're also used in the study of cancer. They not only help in early detection um, and prognosis, but can also play an important role in providing personalized med medicine to the patients for better and more advanced treatment options. Different algorithms of machine learning and their visualization techniques has immensely helped in the better study of cancer. Understanding the role of genomics data analysis can be really helpful in obtaining better results in cancer study and research and help evaluate the actual cause of cancer in a, in a more precise manner. As we know that in today's world, genomics hold great importance as this field studies the genomes of organisms and is able to give us a variety of important information. As with the cancer, when the study is done at genomic level, it can be helpful in identifying which genes are getting upregulated or downregulated or which genes are more activated than others or which ones have more impact in case of cancer. Data analysis, uh, though, is a complex field and requires time and expertise, but it has several progressive methods for the study of a particular disease. Genomic data analysis, as the name suggests, is analyzing the genome of, orga of an organism to get important information which can be used in research and analysis. There are various steps in data analysis, such as data exploration, which is the uh, initial data analysis step. We, uh, in this step, we learn about the data set and the content and characterization. With, uh, the another one is the data cleaning, where we identify the faulty data, delete unnecessary data, and replace it with new data. Uh, model building, present uh, presentation of the result, and graphical representation are another steps of the data analysis. Role of machine learning in cancer. Machine learning and artificial intelligence are progressively gaining more importance in everyday life and are expected to have a significant impact on illness detection and treatment in near future. AI and machine learning development have opened the way for autonomous illness diagnostic tools by exploiting large data set to face the future problems of human disease identification at an early uh, age, particularly in cancer. The most common categorization of breast cancer is binary. Machine learning techniques are now widely employed in the categorization of breast cancer. They have a high degree of classification accuracy as well as diagnostic capabilities. Lung cancer, which is the proliferation of um, malignant cells in the lungs, because of the rising uh, rate and incidence of uh, lung cancer in both men and women, it is important for us to study the lung cancer in a more uh, precise manner. Classification techniques such as naive bias, SVM, decision tree, and logistic regression were used to analyze lung cancer prediction. The primary objective of the study is to investigate the performance of classification algorithm in the early detection of lung cancer. For the study, we have chosen a data set that we have taken from the title Genomic and Evolutionary Classification of Lung Cancer in Never Smokers. As we know that the incidence of lung cancer is very common in people who smoke regularly or who have smoked at some point in their life. But the cases are also increasing in people who are never smoker. In this paper, the whole study is uh, divided into three subtypes. Dominant subtype, which is piano, mesoforte, and the genome doubling forte. So uh, the Sherlock lung study uh, including, uh, includes 35 adenocarcinomas and 32 tumor paired normal uh, lung tissue. Here we compared expression of gene sets included in different stem cell signatures. And the findings suggest that the less differentiated and a lineage infertility in piano subtype, which could be the sign of stemness. This is the page of the data set uh, where we can find the information of organism, the summary of the paper and the title and its status. As we can see below the download, uh, we can click on the HTTP and download the file. After the file is downloaded into our, the data set file is downloaded into our system, we have to extract it using WinZip uh, tool. After extracting it, we'll be able to view the data set. 
and this is how the data set looks with the id sample id and the gene present in it um, this is the excel format of the data set which we have obtained after the extraction using winzip tool now using we have used this data set to plot box plot histogram uh, and scatter plot uh, bar plot uh, in order to uh, in order to analyze and visualize the data better so box plot uh, the use of a box plot is uh, can provide it is all uh, can provide uh, various information about the uh, data set a box plot also known as the whisker plot is used to show an overview of a group of data values that include qualities such as minimum first quartile medium third and uh, maximum a box is drawn from the first quartile to the third uh, in the box plot and a vertical line runs through the box at the medium the data set is divided into three uh, parts so this is the result of the uh, box plot that we have uh, got using the we have uh, done the coding uh, in python uh, on the jupyter notebook uh, using the data set that uh, i have obtained and this is how the box plot looks uh, this, these are the box plot for gene expression table uh, as we can see on the left side it is a normal scale and on the right side we have the logarithmic scale um, as we can see in the picture there are uh, there are certain small uh, black circles that we can see those are known as outliers and these are the values which are beyond the range of the data set that is they are beyond the highest and lowest value of the data set so those circles are known as outliers histogram uh, histogram may be used to depict the top uh, the proportion of numerical data instead of two variable a histogram might relate to just one the full range can be partitioned into a series of intervals here continuous data is typically represented using histograms the average frequency density is represented by the height the image histogram is a graphical depiction of the tonal distribution of a digital digital picture this is the histogram that we have got using the uh, coding in python heat map so a heat map contains various representing uh, shades of the same color for each value to be plotted usually the darker shades of the chart represent higher values than the lighter shade for a very different value a completely different color can be used it is defined as a graphical representation of data using colors to visualize the value of a matrix in this to represent more common values or higher activities brighter colors basically reddish colors are used and to represent less common ones darker colors are preferred heat map is also defined by the name of the shading matrix scatter plot so as we can see on the right side we have this this is the result of the uh, uh, the heat map using the data set that we have done a uh, scatter plot is a diagram where each value in the data set is represented by a dot uh, they are used to observe relationship between the uh, variables and uses dot to represent the relationship the scatter method in the mat uh, matplotlib library is used to draw a scatter plot and they are widely used to represent relation among variables and how change in one affects the other as we can see in the picture uh, we have two genes one on the uh, x axis and one on the left uh, y and x axis and uh, it represents the relationship between the two of them so in order to run the pipeline we had to sort the data set into the tom uh, in the tumor and the normal ones uh, which we have done using the find and select function of the excel so as we can see that all the tumor ones are on the left side of the excel sheet and all the no normal ones are on the left side or right side of the uh, excel pipeline uh, basically a bioinformatics pipeline is a collection of software algorithms that work together to analyze the raw sequencing data and provide a list of identified sequence variations these are either created and produced by a source with or without laboratory customization next generation sequencing relies heavily on bioinformatics pipeline the influence of processing raw genomic uh, raw sequencing data to discover genetic mutations on illness uh, and clinical care is enormous so uh, in order to run the pipeline we first have to go to the tbioinfo server 
under the data integration and modeling and under the data mining we have run the unsupervised uh, analysis unsupervised machine learning pipeline so we click on the unsupervised analysis and the page on the right side opens where we click uh, where we upload our data set uh, we upload our data set. It will take a little bit of time uh, to process uh, the data set. Then we click on start. Then we click on the PCA uh, R library. And uh, then we uh, change the scale parameter to yes. And then we click on the end to end the pipeline. Uh, then we click on run pipeline, enter the name of the output file. Uh, the way we want. It will take some time for the pipeline to run. To check the progress, we can go to my pipelines. After its uh, processing is done to 100%, click on the name of the pipeline to open and see the output files. Then we click on the uh, download output files and uh, this is how the uh, result looks like. So it is a PCA, uh, PCA result. And as we can see that all the red dots represent the uh, normal uh, sample and all the blue ones and all the key pictures represent the tumor samples so it can um, it has been able to uh, very uh, uh, in a very good manner represent the data set uh, through the pictures so pc is widely used in exploratory analysis of the data where uh, predictive uh, predictive uh, model is required it decreases the variable number in case of large data set like uh, here it reduces the variables from sample id genes and whether they are normal or tumor to simply normal or tumor in the data set as we have seen the data set was very large and uh, we were able to visualize it in a good manner box plot histogram scatter plot gene plot bar plot and the combined forms that are used uh, they are very good in the visualization of the data Better visualization of the data is important uh, to understand the data better. If we are able to understand the data better, we can um, make more meaning out of it and which can be used in uh, research and analysis part. So bigger, uh, moving ahead with this topic, uh, we can use bigger and more complex data set uh, for a variety for a variety of cancers. Uh, clear visualize, visualization will lead to a easy and better understanding for the cancer research and study, and it will help uh, the uh, scientists to come up with better treatment options uh, that can be uh, given to cancer patients. Uh, that's all for the presentation. Thank you so much.